you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a january favorites video so if you want to see what i've been loving lately then just keep watching okay so first my first favorite of the month is coffee seems like it has caffeine in it but it doesn't because i'm wired right now Another one of my favorites is when you're wearing really cute lipstick and it gets on the cup. My drink that I get in the winter is a decaf caramel white mocha. So I love the taste of coffee. I'm not committed yet fully to the adult coffee world, but I get like the cute sugary ones that don't really taste like coffee, but kind of, you know what I mean? Like you're kind of growing up, but you're not really committed yet. Um, and so yeah. I love it. It does give me a little bit of energy. It's just not that kick of caffeine because if you have anxiety or um, don't love the feeling of jitteriness anyway, then caffeine is not your best friend. So yeah, but I've just been enjoying that, um, treating myself after work or before work. Just kidding. Lord knows I don't get up early enough to do that. But um, yeah, I love that drink from Starbucks. So cheers. So my first favorite is a book and it's by Joyce Meyer and it's called Battlefield of the Mind. It looks like this. Um, it's not too big. So I love this book because it's all about um, winning the battle in your mind. And I think that a lot of us are prone to negative attitudes and to negative thinking and that really has such an impact on our lives whether we know that or not. So I'll try to read like a chapter before bed or um, whenever I have time, but it's a book that you can just keep reading over and over again because you'll always learn something else from it and I, I really enjoy that part of it. Um, it's really helped me so much. I, I just highlight things in here that um, pertain to me and I've noticed that it's just really helped and I've been really practicing um, the things that she says in here. Yeah, it's an easy read, but it is going to change your life by the power of the Lord. Okay, my next non-beauty favorite is a speaker and this is just the Bose speaker. I don't really know what this one is called, but I'll link it below. So this speaker is really nice because I'll just listen to podcasts on it or audiobooks or music while I'm getting ready, while I'm cleaning, while I'm doing dishes, doing whatever it is that I need to do. I've been trying to be really mindful with what I'm listening to and what I'm looking at um, in terms of social media and stuff. And so I like to have um, uplifting, empowering, positive podcasts or songs or um, worship music on in the background because even if we think we're not listening to it, our subconscious is always listening to what we're listening to um, and really taking those things in. So it's important for us to make sure that we are really being mindful and aware of what we're putting in our ears because they will end up in our mind, which end up in our lives. Just a little life lesson with Summer here. One of my favorite skincare items this month is this Deep Clean Purifying Clay Cleanser slash Mask by Neutrogena. If you guys have me on Snapchat, you've seen this multiple times on my face. It's like a really pretty aqua color like this. Just because something works for me doesn't mean it will work for you, but yeah, I think that you guys would love this one as well. Um, you can use it as a cleanser or a deep mask, like a purifying mask because it has clay in it, which is really gonna suck out the toxins and oil and whatever else bacteria you have in your face. So I noticed that it just um, kind of keeps my skin clearer and I use it more as a mask, not as a cleanser, but you can use it for both, which is awesome. So highly recommend this one. My next favorite is actually a body spray fragrance mist. It's not like the full perfume, but it's just like a body spray. It's by Victoria's Secret and it's called Bombshell Nights. And it looks like this. Um, it's so good. It's more fresh than something that I normally go for. I normally go for something that is more um, sugary, warm, vanilla-y, and this is more just like fresh and I suck at knowing what to say for smells. It smells just, yeah, fresh. How many times did I say fresh? It smells fresh, it smells good. I recommend this. I didn't commit to the full perfume yet, but kind of like these, you just spray it go. You can throw it in your purse, do whatever, and it's, um, it's nice to just have. So yeah, I've been loving that. And I do have a couple of hair favorites. You guys have been asking me for a hair care routine. I will get to that as soon as I stock up on a couple of my products I've run out of, of course, at the same time. Does that happen to you? I have like my favorite products and then all of a sudden they're all gone at the same time. And I'm like, I don't have enough money to get all of these at once. My first favorite hair care product is an intense hydrating mask and it is by Moroccan Oil. This is the top of it. Comes in this cute little tub. And this is a professional product, so it is a little bit more expensive, but um, I love this. I'll just keep it in the ends of my hair. I never put a mask up here because it will produce way too much oil and get it a little too greasy. So from the ears down, I put it in my hair and I love it. You can do it like while you're taking a bath or if you have to shave and stuff and you're gonna take like 10 minutes in the shower, 
throw this in here, put it in a bun or whatever you need to do so it doesn't get rinsed out, and then um, rinse that when you're done. <sighs> if you're not gonna buy this, at least just go smell it. It just, it, it smells so good. I don't know how to explain it. My next hair care favorite is for all my greasy girls out there. Just kidding, kind of. So this is called a clarifying shampoo. It's by Kenra, um, OG sister over here. I have loved this for a really long time. So a clarifying shampoo is going to get rid of buildup. So my girls that are on the greasy train right now, trying to train their hair, not shampooing every night, getting those gross days where you're using a full can of dry shampoo in your hair, this is for you. Because the more products we're using in our hair, the more buildup it's getting on your scalp or on your hair down here. Um, and this is really gonna just clarify that, as it states in the name. So a clarifying shampoo is not meant to be used every single time you shampoo your hair, but once a week, or depending how much products you're using in your hair. Also, it would be good for you swimmers. I actually, fun fact, can't swim. I can doggy paddle, um, like the really intense type of swimming I don't do yet. Maybe that's a goal for this summer. Um, but if you are a good swimmer, this is also really good for you for the buildup that gets in your hair from chlorine, or if you have hard water where you live. Um, yeah, I can't recommend a clarifying shampoo enough because even if you don't have any of those things, you'll still get built up products in your hair, um, even just from your shampoo and conditioner if you're not getting out, it out enough. Okay, and then I just have a few makeup products. Guys, I am so excited about this first product because if you guys watch any of my videos, you'll know that I'm obsessed with the Master Chrome highlights from Maybelline at the drugstore. It has changed my makeup game. And I love it because there are a couple different shades that I've found that I love, but also it's from the drugstore, so I'm not spending so much money on a highlighter. I think they totally compete with the high-end highlighters, and I love them. And I've had a few snaps from you guys saying that you've gotten it, and you love it, and you're so excited about it, so I'm so happy that you guys are also obsessed. The whole reason I'm talking to you guys about this is because I found a new shade. I am so excited. I found a new shade, and I don't even know how I didn't know about this, but Nikki Tutorials collaborated with them. It's just in the shade 250. It's exclusively found at Ulta. That is where I found mine, and it is so beautiful. Mine's still in the packaging, but I can still use it like this, so I don't really care. But this is for like all my fair girls out there. I do have it on right now. Okay. Um, it's for my fair girls, but also if you have a tan, you can totally get away with using this as long as you're blending it out. It is so bomb. Are you kidding? It reminds me of Opal from Becca, if you're familiar with that, but I just can't say enough about these highlighters. I love them, and I hope that they keep coming out with more colors, because um, it's so fun seeing new ones and trying them and falling in love with all of them. So if you guys have tried them, let me know, or if you're gonna try them. I love seeing you guys getting the products that I'm recommending. It makes my heart so happy. Okay, so to go with that highlighter, I always forget to say um, the brush that I use with it, and it's actually from the drugstore, which is so exciting. It's a real techniques brush and it doesn't have a name on it, but it looks like this. It's just like a fluffy end. It's kind of tapered. I have so much highlighter on right now, but I want to just show you how well this works. So I just dip it in here a little bit. I usually just tap off any excess and then go right on there. Oh, is this a joke? Okay, Maybelline, I see you. Really changing my life one swipe at a time. Loving, loving. Okay, and my last beauty favorite of the month is actually a life changer. Guys, I found a concealer that I like more than Shave Tape. Is the world ending or what is happening? I've only used it like three times and it's already replaced Shave Tape and it is the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Nude and I still have mine in the packaging because it's beautiful and I can't throw it away yet. So this concealer, I've heard a little bit about, but not that much rage yet, and I'm obsessed with it. It looks like this. It's kind of a chunky um, packaging, but I still think it's cute. And yeah, I'm obsessed with it. I use it just like my other concealers. Super full coverage, and they have a huge variety of shades. You can also use it to contour um, and get a darker shade, which I want to do next. But yeah, I've been obsessed with this, and yeah, totally check it out. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for coming to this video. I'm so excited to continue to make videos for you guys. Before I let you guys go, I just want to remind you, please subscribe if you haven't yet. It really means so much to me. All you have to do is click the red button below and you will just be notified when I have a new video up. It's free and it's easy and it just helps me a lot. 
Also, I love talking to you guys. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. I'll also link that right here. And that is where I get to talk to you guys the most and interact with you guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, day, or night, wherever you're at. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. That's what she said. This bra is too tight. Da, 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 da. Usually I'm like super sugar. Ooh, just about dropped it. I normally, I, the words are hard. Calm yourself, Summer.